All right, let's do a video here. We are running a crypto mining rig. W what are we running here? So we run a bunch of these graphics cards, right? So yeah, right now we got six graphics cards running, two uh, 3070s and four 1660 Ti's. Okay. Two power supplies, which we probably don't need both of them right now, but we were just sort of distributing that power a little bit. And, uh, and that's the, that's the rig that's running. And, and then just a bare minimum, just like a processor and a motherboard, just a regular yeah, computer, right? I mean, you can dip in there. It's an older um, uh, Intel uh, Xeon processor. It doesn't need to be a Xeon processor. The reason I'm using that is just it's an old rig that I had that it works fine for, you basically just need anything. Ideally, you'd want like the cheapest, lowest power processor. Oh yeah, that efficiency. you can find for, for efficiency because that's not making you money. But uh, other secondarily, ideally, <laughs> would Some be that you whatever have. you already have yeah. that's collecting dust that you basically can't sell on eBay because it's not really Old worth it. and not performance wise, it's, it's no, yeah. not really. You can't get memory for it anymore. It's really hard. So it really doesn't do you any good. It's basically e-waste. So we're making we're putting the e-waste to use. So the best job for that thing right now is just to, to mine there it is. crypto. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just a it's it's just wrangling the GPUs is what the, was what the <laughs> processor is doing, right? So yeah, the pro, the GPUs are doing the work. That that's the that's the supervisor. The CPU is just sitting there sipping his Cheer coffee. Leading. Yeah. So we set this up a few days ago and we walked away thinking that it was going to be on for, you know, the whole holiday. But the first thing that happens is the very first night, it's the Santa Ana season. So, you know, we get some rolling blackouts with the Santa Ana's and the power goes out. And I'm like, Jehu, gosh, if only there was a thing that you had a million of <laughs> that we could and, have hooked up. And here's the ironic thing. This thing was just sitting there for months. Like I did the review on this thing and it has a UPS feature it's sitting there on the other room we i never crossed my mind to to use it we thought well down the line you know our grid is it's uh pretty stable it shouldn't go down and the first night that we connect this <laughs> it goes down the power goes down so now we have this blue eddy ep500 which can do up to 2000 watts we're only using about 800 watts on this little system here yep. so yeah it's, this thing should run good we figure that it's going to run about 6.2 hours well, with the inefficiencies, maybe six hours or maybe a little bit under six hours. So if the power goes out, uh, it'll keep the computer running and then it should stay. Now, we just figure out that maybe your <laughs> network equipment needs to be on a backup, too. Yes, the router uh, the router needs to be powered uh, back up, too. But I, I don't know. I wonder if the – I guess the Internet, if your router has got a battery backup and the power goes down, your router stays on – Whatever the substation your, your substation is connected to is that that's that, got to have a battery yeah, backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I right? think five hours or something. Okay. So if your your backup, so if your blackout is more than five hours, yeah, this stuff starts. Going. Even the cell phone towers start going down. So yeah, like on a twelve-hour yeah, blackout, if it's if it's localized like big enough, yeah, your phone's going, your internet's right. going. Even no, if you have this, I mean, it's totally not life and death. I mean, if the thing goes down, it's like whatever. Yeah. But, but you know, it, it, I mean, every hour that it's every second that it's down, you're not making money. Yeah. And um, you know, it's it's. I mean, the, the 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 cool thing about crypto mining is that when you get your rig set up and running stably, just hit it, let it run, and you just for you know, kind of forget about it. You check on it every now and then, make sure your rig's running, your your things online. You don't want to just have to keep working on it, you know, because then it's not that sort of passive income that you're looking for. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Ideally, you want it to run stable, and a big part of that is making sure you have battery Back backup up. power, especially if you live in an area where the power tends to go out. Um, yeah. And and then step two will be to actually power this off of uh, some renewable source, or maybe even off. So the the way this is working is just this this will just serve as backup, but we're still going to pay a lot of power during the peak hours right so the other thing is to, to have a system that will run off of batteries that are charged on off peak rates and then run them on peak rates that's the next step and then after that is to put some solar panels and then right. run it off of the uh, off grid the so holy can, grail of crypto mining is renewable energy but that's really i mean that's the holy grail of anything that runs on electricity is is renewables and 
the whole arguments about, you know, oh, crypto mining is terrible for the environment because of how much electricity it uses, I, I think is a totally lame argument because there are ways we can we, we know how to solve that problem. <laughs> we have, yeah, we have the technology. Yeah. And not only do we have that technology, but we need to move our entire energy sector to that technology anyways. Like we already know that. So trying to ban crypto mining because it's using a lot of computing power is it's like, well no, that's not that's not the problem. The problem is we need the energy that's that's clean. The the dirty energy. and we need to clean the energy. We need to clean the energy. And yeah. we know that and you know, so um yeah, that's my rant about the state of the energy. <laughs> yeah, and so the reason for us doing here was well, just to generate some money with these because we bought this equipment back in the day. And the, the what I want to do is learn how to do this with batteries because we have a ton of batteries. Yeah. There's a bunch of energy in them, and I, I, I get, we get this question a lot. I, yeah. We get this question like, how do we it's power kind of our a, sort of thing? It's kind of a kind of a perfect uh, situation because like. Crypto mining is, it's a super great nerd project. If you're a computer nerd, you like building computers. I mean, you get to, like, you get to plug the things in and you get to get your graphics cards. And, and then, like, look at this. You get to look at this. You get to monitor it. <laughs> and then, of course, there's an app on your phone, you know, and anything, anytime you can, you have an excuse to, uh, you know, monitor your computers remotely. Like, that's amazing, right? So um, that's a cool nerd project. But then the power side of it is what yeah. Jay is totally into. So... And he gets to figure out how to power it, which is a whole other nerd project. But still, it's all great. You know, we're all we're all learning from each other and supporting each other, and that that'll be uh, that's super cool. So one of the issues that I don't know uh, enough, and this I want to use this to learn, is how efficient are these power supplies? Can yeah. we? Because these are just providing, as I understand, the twelve volts. Well, to these cards, right? Yeah, 12, 3, and five volts. And yeah. five volts, but yeah. I think those are like different. I don't know. We'll see how many of those. Can we do this? Because if we have a battery bank, you would have to go to AC right. and then go down to DC. So now there's a bunch of conversions there that are, you know, they have losses. And so if we can stay DC the entire way and we can power these just from a battery sure. just on DC, yeah. then maybe we can, I mean, we can increase 10% efficiency. That's a huge number. 10% over, yeah, over months, years. Yeah, yeah months, months and months. Yeah, it, it's huge. Yeah. And uh, totally. Um, of course it can be done uh if you think of like a like a laptop uh this is the same hardware as a laptop just bigger but all the components inside your laptop it's are all DC. running off of dc on the battery so yeah um yeah so that circuitry is figured out in there yeah uh, i'm definitely not the guy that's going to want to crack one of these open and i order another one i already ordered one because yeah. so. i'm going to figure out like which ones i i think the the cards only need 12 volts now, I don't know. I have nothing to base that, but I think it's probably that's the way to go. And if that's the case, then, yeah, we only need to figure out how to make, you know, 36 volts into 12 volts, which is already a common conversion because if you think about it, right. every golf cart the, out there. The motherboard needs the motherboard needs different powers, like the CPU. Yeah, and other that might actually need, need different voltages. Yeah. Well, you're right that... Uh, the but energy you consumption. Could, you could maybe run as like an interim step. You could maybe run just the motherboard off of one of those, off of your your power supply, your computer power supply, and yeah. then run twelve volts from the batteries to the graphics cards. Yeah, and those are the ones that are consuming energy. Draw, right, yeah, yeah. Of power, so. I, I, you know, seven hundred of the eight hundred watts are going to be the cards. Right. Um, yeah. And the the rest on that yeah, system. Yeah. So these are all doing right now the. Um, the 1660 Ti's are doing um, about 83, 84 watts, and wow. the, the 3070s are doing well. One of them's doing 130, one's doing 156 watts because it's not quite as efficient. But uh, ah, and those two big cards are producing the same as the four smaller cards, right? Yeah, the, the 3070 is about twice as fast at Ethereum mining as the 1660 Ti. Yeah. So. What's our total hash rate? Does it say, or does it? You have to um, add it up. You know that's kind of a thing about nice hashes. It, it uh, like sometimes it gives you like a, a total, but I mean it's basically uh, uh, it's basically two forty, right around two hundred forty megahashes per second, which is pretty good for a single a single rig. Six GPU rigs, two hundred forty. It's not bad. A lot of people, when I posted this way back in the day when I bought them, a lot of people said, oh, you're wasting your time. You can't make money with these graphics cards anymore. 
And I'm like, I don't know. That's not what I hear from a lot of people. It's you know? definitely still, it's definitely still profitable. You know, the market is is very is highly is highly uh, highly fluctuating. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm definitely not the expert to know on that. But it's the type of thing that even the experts aren't, don't really know. Agree? You know, or they what's agree? Gonna, <laughs> what's going to happen? So, uh, at least for now, it's still profitable to mine. Uh, um, Ethereum on consumer graphics cards. Yeah, okay. and we have a few more. We just kind of run out of uh, ports in that system, so maybe we're gonna get another one set it up here and see what we can do. I yeah, I'm really interested in see what the power consumption of a system like this is. It seems to be pretty simple. I think once it, you set it up, it's like eighty eight hundred watts. It's just eight hundred watts right. throughout the yeah. night and yeah. whatever, right? Yeah, and I mean, you know, right it's, now we're doing other stuff on it. I'm, I'm cloning this hard drive and the monitors on, so it's gonna be eight hundred plus. It's gonna be up and down, but once it's I mean, once dialed it's in sitting here running it'll it's be pretty constant, pretty constant yeah. which is the the easiest way to figure out what your power con consumption is on a on a static yeah. load like that Psh, yeah and then every now and then you'll see the power spike a little bit because windows decides to install updates or something <laughs> oh i see yeah has to run a little bit of cpu power to uncompress or whatever right all right well this is coming up we're going to be messing around with this and figure out how to power it more efficiently how to use batteries how to use solar equipment and yeah stay tuned if you're interested for that sort of stuff it's coming finally finally getting these cars to use they've been sitting in the box for six months or whatever <laughs>